Hello, hello and welcome. I'm Impact Frames. In this video, we have a lot to unpack because it's been an intensive week and yeah, it's a lot of things to talk about. But first, we have here in the background the highly anticipated Olama preview. If you don't know what Olama is, it's basically a way to run local LLMs. Something like ChatGPT, but you can run it in your machine and it will have a big chunk of the human knowledge inside your machine that you can use to learn about a topic, ask questions, you can use it as a chat companion, many things to code. People even use it with the OpenAI compatible API that this thing comes with to make apps. I actually have one that is an extension for Automatic 11 that you can use to make a stable diffusion prompts. You can even give it like an image and it will tell you the prompt. Actually, if you do it like in this way, it has a different mode where you can come in here and ask a question like uh, where this uh, image has been taken and it will tell you how well it's been taken in Tokyo, maybe Kabuki show that you can then put in here and generate or you can use the top uh, level in here, put the beginning of the prompt and then it will construct more prompts for you and generate the image. And by the way, this is made not with Cascade, but with the Proteus VO3, which is this model in here. And this model is very interesting because it's been trained with the latest techniques in, in stable diffusion training. It's very interesting because the data set itself is a really nice data set, apparently. And you can do direct preference optimization, which is an old technique. We use this in the OpenAI playground to train the games and stuff. But now you can use it with the stable diffusion to train. This is actually the one that impressed me the most is that you can put like a different loras and at training time in continuous training, you can give it like this loras to update the weights and it's very interesting. So, you can see some of the results here, like uh, the quality is amazing. It can do text, it can do anime really well. And yeah, and this is actually, I found it from the X Twitter. So the creator of this is like promoting his new one, which is the VO4. And this one came out like just less than a week ago. So we have these two models and uh, there is a lot of things actually. This is the Sora model that just came from OpenAI. And there is a lot of things I've been publishing here. So if you want to check it out, but I just want to comment this one, this one here that is made like an observation, a discussion by an animator called Owen Fern. And he says like, well, there is nothing to worry about because um, the AI can do really good work and I've been like also involved in discussions and people is not <laughs> in understanding like how cool this is. So, and actually I think he, he gets it. I think he knows that this thing, he will be using it to get his own clients. It's not, it's not, he is the client now. <laughs> it's like the captain now. And he's going to be the captain of his own ship. He's going to be able to make his own movie complete and market it and do it everything with the help of AI without spending like with a fraction of the money because these tools are coming all the 12 principles of animation you will be able to put the accents of the motion in the acting and everything so at the moment of course the AI do like a spatial mistakes like the flaming here it can do a good spacing it cannot do anything but actually, well, it does a lot, but you're still going to be the artist behind it. It's not going to be the AI that is the artist. The AI will help you. That's what I think. But that's like my little rant about it. And I want to just come back to what we are doing. I'm going to put like timestamps and everything if you don't want to hear this. So <laughs> um, we have the implementation for Confi UI, which is native. I wanted to talk about this because we have, uh, as I think I show you, maybe not. We have an extension for uh, Forge, which works well, but it's, um, it has a, a problem with the management of the states inside Gradio. Gradio itself, in the way that Automatic 11.11 11 works, is like terrible. 
and to get this to work the way it needs to, it needs some work. So you need to probably come in into text and press generate at some point after pressing generate here for, for it to understand that it needs to render. So yeah, so it's gonna be like very random. I don't recommend this one. Instead, use Confi UI. Confi UI has like a world class implementation of this thing. Yeah, he had put like the unit uh, nodes in this and the stages and everything, and even makes it work with lower models. So, to make it to work, you can just update all. So, you update all your custom nodes and also update Confi UI and then come in install models just come in here and select the pipeline that you like so for all the pipelines you're gonna need two basic ones which are like the text encoder which is this small say tensor you need to install this and you need the by encoder so the by decoder which is the stage hsf tensors you need that one and then if you have a big graphic card you can use a stage b the full float and it's they see the full float which you can see is 14 gig but the total RAM that you're gonna need is about 20 or 22 gigs that you're gonna need for this and for the hard precision you're gonna need like about 16 gig or 18 gig and then you have the light full precision and this one light full precision will need about 12 gigs or 14 gigs and the light half precision which is the light brain float 16 right these ones you will need about uh, six or eight gigs to run it so you probably you probably could run it with five but i won't i won't put my <laughs> my horse on that on that bed okay so that's it that's all for installing it the config UI manager will install it in the right location so you don't need to worry and you will have examples like this that are really cool um, and to get the workflow I'm gonna put this link in the description this is by Confi Anonymous and I really recommend to get the, the Banodoko Discord so I'm gonna put an invite there for Banodoko Discord I hope the Banodoko people don't hate me <laughs> but it's not so secret anyway so you can, you can get in here, get into the discussion see people sometimes uh, help you to solve problems and yeah i think it's a good idea if not i'm gonna put my workflow in comfy workflow soon so please stay tuned for that one and let's go back and explain how to use olama finally how to use it and, and all so you can come in here and see this video is you open your terminal or your command prompt and you say it all around and the name of the mall that you want to run and this das 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 verbose is for uh, getting this at the end this uh, stats of the mall you don't need to do das das verbose it's just to know if your machine runs effectively and things and as you can see they basically ask why is the sky blue and the llm star uh, responding of course so you have that one and here we have another example with Jan LeCun and you can say that it says that it's a sign in the airport featuring the name of Jan LeCun and it says welcome to welcome in French and that's how you run it you can also have like many other uh, things that you can do here in the commands you can probably come and run Olama help and it will basically uh, list all the commands that you have in Olama. You can do Olama list and list the models that you have in Olama. And you can do Olama run. And the first time you run a model, if you grab it from, for example, uh, the models in the library, you will have like uh, many models. You have the Lava here, Lama, Mistral, Code Lama, Code uh, Dipsic, uh, Vicuña. So you can come in Lava, for example, and it will tell you some information about the model. You have this one to run Lava and it will download the default, which will be the latest in here. And that's 7 billion parameter model. Then you have the full floats for the different versions. You have 13 billion parameters. The more billion the parameters, the more information, the bigger the model is more difficult to run to. So you're going to need more resources. 
but then you have the ones with the quantization, right? So this Q is standing for quantization and the bigger the number, the more precise it is. For example, if you use Q8, it's almost like the half float. If you use Q6 also, and then if you use something like Q2, it will be like very, very small, the only two bits quantization which means like the multiplication matrices will be a lot smaller and less precise and it will take less time to compute and also it will be less latency you get, you get your response a lot quicker but uh, it's not uh, as accurate as having like the full frame and stuff if you use one of these that says KS, KM, and KL, this KS is the, the quantity of parameters that you can play at inference time for selecting the tokens. And this is something like a thousand to 10,000 to maybe 90,000, okay? And M will be something from 100,000 to more than that. And then you have the L, which will be millions probably or in the large uh, hundreds of thousands so yeah and that's the way you select your model if you copy this and you come into your thing and you run it here in your machine then you can uh, start downloading it and uh, start asking questions to get the llama files downloaded you will go into your c uh, drive and then you go into users and then your name and then you will have inside your username you will have that dot olama dot olama and in here you will have your models and in manifest you will have like the, the different folders the library folder will have like the official models and in, in the other folders you will have like models like mine i have this one mistral alpha xs which i really recommend if you're gonna use olama get this mold because it's like one of the top uh, models right now probably is as if you can read the explanation here it's not actually my model someone gave me permission to upload it and it's just a quantization i matrix quantization which is the latest greatest thing that you can do and i will be probably uploading more models that you can see here i'm uh, gonna try to upload more they are difficult to to um, convert for olama right now this kind of model and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video, it was kind of very difficult to do. <laughs> I don't like to jump from one place to another, it's, it might see too disjointed. I hope it's not, but thank you very much for watching, bye bye.